The quadratic equation is an important part of SPM Mathematics Paper 2, Section A. Every year there is one question on quadratic equations in SPM Paper 2, Section A. But the quadratic equation topic is a huge topic in Additional Mathematics SPM much more important in Additional Mathematics and it is a huge topic that is why I have divided it into a number of videos. What we have here is part one. The simplest form of the quadratic equation where the coefficient of x squared is 1. Okay, let's see how we solve this. Okay, we have to find the values of x. Okay, watch. So, x squared plus 13x plus 42 equals to 0. Now, what do you do is you draw two brackets like this. Put it equal to 0. And you put x here, x here. x times x is x squared. Now you have to find these two numbers. Very simple. Think of two numbers. When multiplied together, you get positive 42. When added together, you get positive 13. Okay? Find the correct pair of numbers. Okay. We start with the product first. Okay, what are the numbers? What are the possibilities which will give you 42? These are the possibilities. 1 times 42. 2 times 21. 3 times 14. 6 times 7. These are the possibilities. Okay? But here, like I said, we need two numbers. Multiply together should give 42 and added together must give you 13. So from here, you can see very clearly the correct pair is this, 6 and 7. 6 times 7, 42. 6 plus 7, 13. So the two numbers Positive 6, positive 7. Positive 6, positive 7. You just fill up. Very, very straightforward. Now, like I said, when two numbers A times B equals to 0, A equals to 0, or B equals to 0. Remember, that, to get 0. Therefore, x plus 6 equals to 0 or x plus 7 equals to 0. Plus 6, bring to the other side. Minus 6, negative 6. Or x equal to plus 7, bring to the other side. Negative 7. So these are your answers. The values of x. Very, very straight forward thank you hi welcome to example 3 
x squared plus x minus 56 equals to 0. Let's see how we solve this. As usual, 2 bracket equal to 0. x times x equals to x squared. Now we have to fill these two spaces. Think of two numbers. When multiplied together, you get negative 56. And when added together, you get 1. Positive 1. 1x. One positive 1. That means when multiplied together, you must get negative 56. When added together, you must get 1. Okay, that means one number is positive, one number is negative. And when you add them together, you get 1. Positive 1. That means the bigger number is positive. Okay, let's see what are the possibilities. 56. 1 times 56. 56. 2 times 28 is 56. Okay? 4 times 14. 56. And 7 times 8 is 56. So these are the possibilities. Okay, which pair will give us these two answers? When multiplied, negative 56. When added, 1. So the right pair is this. 7 and 8. The difference is 1. Okay, let's see. Like I said, when you multiply, negative 56. So, 1 is positive, 1 is negative. When you add them together, you got positive 1. That means the bigger number is positive. So, the smaller number is negative. So, this is the right pair. Negative 7 times 8. Negative 56. Negative 7 plus 8 is 1. Very easy. Okay, now we transfer these two numbers here. X minus 7. X plus 8 equal to 0. Therefore, X is equal to. If negative, you give the answer positive. Or... From here, from this bracket, x plus 8 equal to 0. Therefore, x equals to negative 8. These are your answers. Very, very simple. Get it? Thank you. Here I have for you another example of a quadratic equation. Let's see how we solve this. As usual, if the coefficient is 1, we just draw two brackets like this. Okay? x times x is x squared. Now, think of two numbers. When multiplied together, you get positive 90. When added together, you get negative 19. Think of two numbers. When multiplied together, we get positive 90. When added together, we get negative 19. Okay, what? are the two numbers. Let's see. Now, how to get 90? 1 times 90 is 90. 2 times 45 is 90. 3 times 
30 is 90. 5 times 18 is 90. 6 times 15 is 90. 9 times 10 is 90. So these are the various combinations. Okay, let's see which pair will satisfy these two conditions. Okay, multiply positive, added negative. That means both numbers are negative because negative times negative is positive, negative plus negative is negative. So which pair falls into this? If you see clearly, it is this. 9 times 10. Negative 9 times negative 10, positive 90. Negative 9 plus negative 10, negative 19. See? These are the two numbers. Negative 9 and negative 10. These are the two numbers. So what we do? We transfer this here. X minus 9 times X minus 10 equals 0. From here, X equals 2. Negative, your answer is positive. Or X equal to negative, your answer is positive. So these are your answers as simple as that okay this is only the beginning of the quadratic equation there are many more parts to come and i'm sure you can master all of them thank you